White rice was ubiquitous in our household which is why I consumed it regularly until my teenage years. As I grew health conscious, I gradually shifted to the brown variety and have always preferred it over the white one because of health reasons. Now, just like a family, rice is a staple food for about 2 billion people living in Asia. Rice has thousands of varieties, however, the most common types are white and brown. So, as the title suggests, we will compare them based on the following categories. First is a nutrition profile, glycemic index, arsenic content and at the end of this video, I'll suggest which one you should include in your diet. Rice is a type of whole grain. The grain, also called a kernel, is made up of three edible parts. Now, the bran contains fiber, B vitamins and antioxidants. The germ can also contains B vitamins, proteins, minerals and healthy fats, whereas endosperm mostly contains carbohydrates. According to the world's healthiest foods, process that produces brown rice removes only the outermost layer, the hull of the rice kernel and is the least damaging to its nutritional value. The complete milling and polishing that converts brown rice into white rice destroys 67% of the vitamin B3, 80% of vitamin B1, 90% of vitamin B6, half of the manganese, half of the phosphorus, 60% of the iron and all of the dietary fiber and essential fatty acids. Essentially, brown rice retains most of it, but when you start to remove the bran and most of the germ layer to produce white rice, what you're really left with is starch with little or no nutrients. The bottom line, white rice is mostly empty calories in the form of processed and refined carbohydrates as the two most important layers of the grain, that is the bran and the germ, are removed. Brown rice has a glycemic index of approximately 60 and white rice has 70. Of course, these values may widely vary depending on the different brands and how the rice has been processed. In conclusion, there, is, there isn't much difference in the GI value of white rice and brown rice unless you're consuming wild rice which has a low GI value of 50. Brown rice has 80% more arsenic than white rice because its germ layer retains more inorganic arsenic. Now, arsenic is a toxic heavy metal and long-term consumption may increase the risk of skin, lung, and bladder cancer. A systematic review and meta-analysis concluded a strong association of high chronic consumption of arsenic with cardiovascular disease. It's important to note that arsenic contamination occurs not just by consuming contaminated food like brown rice or other foods, but also through contaminated drinking water, which is also one of the highest sources of arsenic consumption. And since rice needs a lot of water to grow, it has the highest content of inorganic arsenic amongst all crops. Specific steps can be taken that can help you reduce your arsenic consumption via brown rice. First, it's very important to wash and rinse brown rice thoroughly with fresh filtered water and not tap water as it contains inorganic arsenic. Similarly, boil rice using only filtered water and never tap water. Buy only organic brown rice. However, organic growing conditions do not always guarantee low arsenic levels since any rice growing in arsenic laden soil soaks up arsenic choose the basmati rice brand from india or pakistan or the or the jasmine variety as these contain the least amount of arsenic the above four steps can reduce arsenic content in brown rice by up to 45 percent when it comes to the taste white rice comes at the top here but let me say brown rice comes slightly behind once you realize the extra nutrition that you're getting from brown rice Compromising a little on taste is undoubtedly not a problem for many. My clients are usually reluctant to try brown rice at first, but they don't miss the white variety. Having said that, the majority of people would still prefer white rice over the brown variety. So should you make the switch to brown rice?
We know that white rice is mainly starch with little or no nutrients. It also has a high GI value of around 70. However, it's it's low on arsenic, which we know is a toxin for the body. Brown rice, on the other hand, has more nutrients than white rice and it falls under the medium GI index. However, it's pretty high in arsenic even after taking the precautionary steps explained in this video. My answer to the question of which rice is better brown or white i would say it depends if you belong to a part of the world where rice is a stable and integral part of your culture and your diet and you and your family eat it almost daily i can only recommend choosing the best brands with low arsenic content ensure that you wash the rice with filtered water to reduce the arsenic content further if you prefer white rice, know that you're simply eating empty calories with little or no nutrients. Therefore, it's a good idea to minimize or limit portion sizes, especially if you want to lose weight. And lastly, do not eat rice all by itself or start your meal by eating rice first. The, this one is pretty obvious, but it's an important fact. Therefore, I wanted to state it. A pro tip to significantly reduce rice GI value is to mix it with a protein and a healthy fat source. Another tip is to start your meals with salads, then a protein source like meats or dal or beans. Only once you have eaten about 100 calories or so, should you include any carbohydrate rich foods like white rice into the mix. This way you can still enjoy rice but significantly reduce its portion size. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. It helps with the rankings and consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when the next video like this will be live. Thanks for watching.